Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode in our series. Together we learn how to be better pet owners and how to make our pets happier. Join us. Today we will talk about Toxoplasmosis. We assume that you have heard about this disease many times, but let's find out more about it together, because the more we know, the less we will be afraid, and the more we will be able to prevent its occurrence. What is Toxoplasmosis? Toxoplasmosis is an infection caused by a microscopic parasite Toxoplasma gondii, and is considered one of the most common and widespread parasitic diseases in all warm-blooded animals, and humans can also get this disease. It is considered that more than one-third of the world's population is a lifelong carrier of this parasite without significant symptoms of the disease. It should be noted that toxoplasmosis in its acute and most severe form mainly affects individuals that have not developed immunity, puppies, kittens, children, those whose immunity is significantly weakened due to the presence of other diseases, in those receiving certain therapy, such as therapy with cytostatic, as well as in pregnant women, where it passes from the mother to the fetus and causes severe symptoms. Cats are considered the primary hosts, because the parasite development and reproduction in their digestive tract, and it reaches the external environment through feces. Cats are most often infected with toxoplasmosis when they eat infected prey. Dogs are usually infected by digging on the ground and coming into contact with cat feces, while people are most often infected by eating insufficiently thermally processed meat, as well as unwashed fruits and vegetables, or less often by coming into contact with cat feces when cleaning up after their pets. Even if you have no contact with cats and pets in general, we must note that this parasitic disease is primarily a consequence of bad hygiene habits. Do you enjoy learning new things? Help this channel grow and have fun with us. It's easy, just click like, share and subscribe, and you've helped us a lot. Symptoms There is an acute and chronic form. Infected cats have more pronounced symptoms than dogs and other types of animals. In healthy people, it causes a flu-like condition which passes for 10 to 15 days, while in immunologically weak people, it can cause a whole series of further health problems and disorders. The disease remains for life once acquired. Symptoms of acute toxoplasmosis in cats, other animals and humans, include the following signs and disorders. Lethargy, muscle weakness, changes and inflammatory processes in the eyes, shivering, high temperature and sore throat, vomiting, breathing difficulties, pneumonia, loss of appetite and body weight, diarrhea, depression, partial and complete paralysis, and inflammation of the brain. In cats that have breathing problems caused by the presence of the parasite, it is recommended to have an X-ray of the lungs. Domestic cats and kittens that do not have antibodies are at the highest risk of contracting and developing all the severe symptoms of the acute disease through contact with other cats. A cat that has suffered acute toxoplasmosis is considered immune for the next six years without major health problems. Treatment Treatment is mainly carried out with fluid replacement, good supplementation and better nutrition, which increases immunity, with symptomatic therapy for diarrhea, vomiting, jaundice and neurological symptoms, as well as the inclusion of antibiotics, in order to prevent the occurrence of secondary infections and facilitate the fight against infection. Pregnancy and toxoplasmosis Toxoplasmosis is especially dangerous for women who first became infected during pregnancy because the disease tends to damage the fetus. In women who have developed immunity, the risk of disease and fetal deformity is much lower. During pregnancy and after delivery, it is not necessary to remove the cat from the home, especially the one that has been tested. Newborn kittens carry a greater risk of toxoplasmosis for an unprotected pregnant woman than the cat itself. It is necessary to observe preventive hygiene procedures. Toxoplasmosis can be transmitted through blood transfusion, organ transplantation, and consumption of unpasteurized goat's milk. There's no need to kiss your beloved kitty during pregnancy, and do not clean her litter, someone else can do it for you during this period. Prevention In domestic cats, prevent the occurrence of rodent hunting, and feed them exclusively with specially prepared food, or commercial food tested for parasites. Best protection against parasites is preventive hygiene measures during food preparation, as well as limiting contact, especially of immunocompromised dogs and people, as well as pregnant women, with cats, kittens and their feces. Good washing of food and its proper heat treatment for you and your pet. Hand washing. Washing fruits and vegetables. Cat feces should be cleaned regularly and often at least once every 48 hours. Note that the eggs of toxoplasmosis are capable of surviving in the ground for several months, even in very cold and dry weather conditions. 
So we don't need to move away from our pet cats, we just need to be well informed and regularly maintain hygiene and we will all be fine. Get informed, keep learning and be aware that diseases exist in order to avoid them. That would be all for today's lesson, join us in the next episode and don't forget to subscribe and like. Also ring that bell so you don't miss the next class. Stay safe and happy. And don't forget, love and respect all your pets and enjoy the time you are given to spend together.